If you have a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro since the announcement of the Apple Silicon, then you are probably looking for a dock if you want to use it in a desktop situation. So in today's video, we're going to show you this thing. Whoops. This company is called to be number one. I know it looks to be Tobenon, but yeah, it is to be number one according to the website at least. So when you open it up, I have really unboxed it actually, so there's really nothing inside. Uh, yeah, there's still the user manual inside, which I'm not gonna touch. What you're gonna get inside is this. This is the power plug, of course. It says uh, 100 watt scan charger. You can, of course, use this separately if you don't want to use it alongside with the dock. So this is a fold-up mechanism, which is real handy and also convenient. But for us here in Malaysia, we're using the UK 3 prong plug. So I'm going to need a universal converter to use this. So this goes into a USB-C head. And that is why I'm saying you can use this to charge more devices than just this dock alone. Now, the dock itself, as you can see here, the model number is UDS038M. And uh, this thing is actually very packed with ports, I would say. So you have host one and host two ports. And then this one is the power port, which you should plug the included charger inside so that it can supply the power that it needs. And then you have HDMI 1, HDMI 2, 2.5 gig Ethernet, which is rare to see. And then you have two USB 3 type A and two more USB 2.0 type A. At the front, you have the power button, and then you have two more USB Type-C ports, one 10 gigabits, another one with 20 watts output for charging, real good, combo audio jack, SD card, and also micro SD card reader, and another 10 gigabit USB-A ports. And that's about it. Those are all of the ports found on this little dock here. And one more thing that came included in the box is this cable. Now, this cable might look weird, right? Double USB-Cs? Why? Well, it's actually... Let, let, me, let me show you why this is, okay? Oh, let me first plug it in first. So you can see these two uh, USB-C ports, host 1 and host 2. This special made cable goes in like this. It's specially made for this port. And the other end, where you should connect it to, via MacBook Air and MacBook Pro, of course. So, this is my MacBook Air. You can see two ports here are also equally spaced. So, you can just plug it in. You see? I'll show you once more, okay? Two ports. You plug it in. Yeah, it goes in like this. It's weird, I know, but I think uh, we need a bit more explanation. So the two ports here are actually, um, how do I say this, specialized from each other. One of it is for power and then another one is for data only. I'm not sure why they separate it like this because if you um, know the world of USB cables and protocols, then USB 4 or Thunderbolt 4 and Thunderbolt 5 for that matter can carry up to 40 gigabits per second with 240 watts of USB PD PPS as well. So practically a single cable can do everything, but for whatever reason, they decided to split it into two. So that is why we need that special cable. Technically, you don't really need that special cable. If you've got two USB C to C, high speed USB C to C, or in this case, just use double Thunderbolt cables, then you can just separate them because that works as well. Uh, let me show you how this thing works first. I need to plug in the charger to the wall. I know there's a, this thing is actually a monitor and we will of course plug it into HDMI ports 1 and 2 and test it out as well. Actually, we only have one monitor around, so okay. This one comes from the charger. You gonna plug it in here. You can see the LED turn on. That means it is powered on. Now, I can plug in this cable here. So this is my MacBook Air. And as you can see here, the battery is at 52%. Let's plug it in.
okay that's the charging chime you can see that it is indeed charging and this dock is made in such a plug and play manner that we can you know plug in a display with one of those HDMI ports if I remember to turn it on that is and there we go it just works so um, what else I want to show you is that when we plug into the dock using separate cables then it will work separately as well so you technically don't need to use their proprietary cable it's just more convenient that way if you're using a MacBook since it is specially made for MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros because it's equally spaced I mean with one one action of plugging in a cable is better than having two separate cables right so I think that's the idea of this dock so for this test, I'm going to be using the uh, Red Magic 10s Pro and I'm going to plug in uh, this right angle side to the host 2 port and this one to the bottom of the phone. I'm going to do that one more time so you can see. Host 2 port only charges. There is no display output because this host 2 port only carries power. So if we switch this back to host 1, then yeah, we won't be getting any charging, but we only get display output, which does take a while for it to appear. Yeah, I think it's appearing now. Yes, correct. Again, I will let you see here, no charging, but you do have display output. So yeah, I still don't know why this dock separates both ports, one for each task, because technically, again, uh, Thunderbolt 3, 4, 5 cables can handle it without any issues through one single cable. But for whatever reason, they decided to split it into two. Maybe it's due to the uh, bandwidth issue and whatnot, but that's a strange choice. Also, I want to highlight one thing. Um, the SD card reader, if you find it on their websites, they did not list out the speeds of these two card readers. And I'm here to tell you that they are actually USB 3, 5 gigabits per second speeds. It's uh, not the fastest, but it's adequate enough, I would say. If you're transferring like video files that we use, uh, 1080p, 60fps videos, it's going to take some time if you film a long video. So yeah do keep that in mind and overall i would say this dock is actually really compact you can just put it on your desk and then it will look real nice as well and you can just plug it in with a single cable with two headers it's a bit of a hydra cable and uh, there you go you get a lot of ports and also more charging for your other devices maybe you want to charge your phone as well or whatever like that and also card readers I'm also glad that they gave you USB 2.0 ports so you can plug in your keyboard and mouse. My only complaint is that there is no USB-C ports at the back. It's only at the front here. So yeah, they, they should have at least placed two more USB-C ports at the back. So yeah, that's it. That's all that we have to share with you about the 2B number one UDS038M. If you have any other questions regarding this little cute dog, then leave them down in the comment section below. The price is as listed on the screen. So yeah, we will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.